I'm excited. I'm more than excited. This is my first time. I've been wanting to, to work with girls forever. And I just couldn't find the interest. But now we got it. And now we got it. And it's not going away. It's going to be here now. Now that we're traveling, we're going to take it on the road, go other places. We're probably going to build from this uh, one-day clinic and have next year, I plan to have a week's clinic. And if hopeful, if we can do it the way that I want us to, I would love to bring a tournament, an all-girls tournament to this area. So I'm just really excited. There you go. Whenever I go, you pull that ball, girl. Stop playing with me. You know, it took him a little bit to get started, but I saw a lot of energy. I saw a lot of focus. I saw a lot of uh, effort being put in to something that many of them have never done before. And then for those that have done it before, to try to learn how to do it properly, or just learn how to do it, you know, another way. And then the focus when we were teaching them how to do it, um, just that that was there. They asked so many intelligent questions. I love that. I love that. This is a little bit different from boys, where boys think they just know everything and they're going to do everything. You know, where the girls were like, well, show me how to do that again. Exactly. Why do you do it this way? And does that, you know, that makes sense. And, you know, I love that about that because it shows me that they're thinking, they're critically thinking about the game, life skill. So they're thinking about what they're doing. And it also, it brings the girls together to show the girls that this is not a sport that only boys can play. Girls can do it too. And they do it very well. ESPN. Uh, ESPN covers a lot of 7 on 7 flag. Nike has sponsored a lot of 7 on 7 high school flag tournaments. And coaches are using 7 on 7 and 5 on 5 as a developer for, for skills, especially for their specialty players. You know, their uh, running backs, their quarterbacks especially, their receivers, their DBs, linebackers. It's all about quick feet, execution, um, being disciplined, all of those things without the pads, without the helmet, all right? Because it's gonna, it's gonna improve your game. For when you do put the pads on, you put the helmet on, so the same skill set is gonna be there, but it's just gonna be sharper. So I think that's the reason why it's just become a bit more popular. Now, you know, with the girls, trying to get the girls in, involved with it. But it's also about teaching life skills. All sports, football included, you can teach so many life skills. Like discipline, listening, following instructions, integrity, uh, camaraderie, compassion, sportsmanship. It's all, it's all in that, you know. And so finally having girls. Finally, because I've coached boys for so long, finally being able to have a girls camp and to be able to introduce this to girls and also to have girls traveling, having the DC Divas come here so they can see other that women do this, having women coaches is just phenomenal. So you went like this instead of going like this. Make sense? So instead of just going like that and turning and she went that way. So if you would have stopped and went like this, you'd have had her. All right, good job, buddy. Let's play together, ladies. One, two, three. Big time! Awesome!